This right here is gonna save y'all money and it's also gonna help y'all catch more fish. Because when you go to the tackle shop, they're pretty much gonna try and sell you these pre-made high-low rigs or bottom rigs. And as you can see, there's all this like wire and just a bunch of hardware. For one, you're gonna pay more money and in my opinion, you're not gonna catch as much fish because look at all this like hardware you have. So the fish see this and you're not gonna get as many bites from a lot of like the predator fish. So with these, you're still gonna catch fish, but if you really wanna maximize your chances of catching like your quality game fish, you can make your own and you'll have a lot less hardware than these right here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make these really quick and everything that y'all need to know so that you guys can save money. I'm all about saving y'all money and teaching y'all a few things. So first thing you're gonna need is some leader line. Then you can get some hooks. I wanted to show you guys, these are the pre-made Snell hooks that you can buy at the tackle shop. The tackle shop that when we were fishing on the beach, we didn't have really small hooks. So I had to go up to the pier and just buy whatever they had. So they had these pre-made Snell hooks. These ones are what you're gonna put on your typical high-low rig or pre-made bottom rigs, same thing. So what we did is we just bought these. These are size four. Now, I typically like to use size six. The number one mistake that I see people making when they fish off of the beach in piers is they use hooks that are too big. You don't need big hooks at all. Um, a lot of these fish, uh, like our pompano, sea mullet, even redfish, even flounder, if you're fishing with hooks that are too big, the bait's not gonna look natural. So when you go to your tackle shop, what you wanna do is you wanna buy just the hook. Really, really, really small hooks. That's all you need right there. So we're gonna be using two of these. All right, so I'm taking my leader line right here. I typically like to use 15 or 20 pound tests for a leader line. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by making the bottom. I like to start by making the bottom where the weight's gonna go. Okay, so all we did is we just took our line and we doubled it over on itself. Now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna tie a surgeon's knot. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna do an overhand knot with a slight variation. So you just come around here. So all we're gonna do is we doubled the line over itself. It's called a surgeon's knot. So you come right here, make a loop, just like that, just like a normal overhand knot, okay? Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our line and go through this loop twice. So, one, and then bring it through again, two. So, one, two, just like that. And then just pull it tight. So this right here is gonna be the loop that you can attach your weight to. So I like to use these style weights right here. You can also use pyramid weights. You know, take the loop just like that, go through the eye of the weight, wrap it around, just like that. All right, so that's your weight. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make where we can attach our hooks to. So we got our weight down here at the bottom, come about eight inches up from that, pull out a bunch of line, about that much, probably another eight inches to a foot. I like to have as much line. So about another eight inches or so, and just make yourself a loop just like that. So all you're gonna do is you're going to hold the line with both hands and you're just going to wrap this line and then you're gonna go around five times. Three, four, five okay now take this line and bring it through the loop that you just made right there that was twisted sometimes it helps if you use your mouth to pull it tight there you go and you just pull it tight just like that and that right there is gonna be what you're gonna put your hook on just take this loop right here, put it through the eye of the hook. Just like that. And then just bring it around. 
there you go. So there's your first hook. Now we're gonna make our second loop. So in case y'all need another example to make this other loop for the hook. So all you're gonna do, okay? So take about eight inches or so, just like this. Make a loop. All right, see, so we just have a loop just like that. The line is doubled over. So we have the line just like this, okay? So you have two strands of line. Hold those line, hold that line, both, hold both lines with your hands and go five times around. Four, five. Okay, now you have the line twisted, but we have this loop right here. We also have this line right here. So take this line through this loop, just like this. So take the line, put it through the loop. This is where you sometimes you need to use your mouth to pull on this line. Let's see if I can show y'all. Just like that. And then pull the line. Just like that. All you're gonna do is just put this loop right through the eye of your hook. Just a simple like slip knot. Come around your hook. Pull it tight. There we go. Okay, so here's our rig. So we have our weight on the bottom. Then we have about eight inches up from that. We have our first hook right here. And that's gonna sit off of your line. Okay, so here we go. So we got our weight. We got our first hook just right there. And then we have our second hook right up from that. All right, so here it is, people. This is our rig. So we got our main line right here. And then we've got our rig tied on. So we've got our weight on the bottom. And you've got one hook right here. Next hook up from that, and then you've got your line attached to your main line. You guys can mess with the distance that y'all use between the weight and the hook right here. Uh, all you do is you simply just tie this knot right here, right off of your weight. <clears throat> all right, so that's it, people. That's how you make your own rig, and this is gonna help you to catch more fish. It's gonna be way less hardware than the pre-made ones like this and it's also going to save y'all money hopefully this video helps y'all out and that's all i got for today if you guys have any other uh, comments of uh, videos that y'all want to see or if you have comments on this rig and variations of it please let's help each other out and i'd love to hear your input on that i'm sure a lot of other people would love to hear your input on different variations of your rig that y'all use um, it's really simple and in fishing there's you know different styles different ways everybody else has i'm just sharing you guys what works for me and what's always worked for me in the past so if you guys have anything that you'd like to add then definitely drop us a line in the comment section and that's all i got for today you guys all right peace out